How about an office tour? How about a look inside my office? Let's take a look. Here we have the office water bottle, which is empty. Packaging tape, stickers, stamps, got a couple orders waiting to go out. Pamphlets, scale. Here's my printer. This is where things get printed up. They come right out of here. Yep. Here's my map. There's my hats. Some pictures and things. My windows. There's a chair I stole from my wife. This, everywhere I, you see a peg there, there's a, a slug 33. Or more. We just put one pin. Some of these countries are so small, it doesn't make sense to put more than one. We just want to know how many countries, how many countries, Afghanistan, India, Thailand, Philippines. A lot of customers in Australia. Slug 33 all over the world. Even South Africa. Crazy. Still got a long way to go though. But we do have more. We got one in every state. We just stopped putting them in the states after a while. Got a, we even have a customer in Iceland. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Germany, Poland. All right. As we walk around here, this is my mat. This is a, called a self-healing mat. You can take a razor blade and this is where you do all your cutting. This is where I make my hot straps here. I've got a vise specifically for the hot straps and the torches. i got my blanks here, some buttons, copper buttons. i got my X-Acto knife, my leather edge trimmer. I've got some leather sealant here. I've got all my toys. This is your leather my leather cutter that'll slice you up real nice and we got some leather here future straps perhaps or some scraps and we got some this is my bigger pieces i cut them in big pieces and then we have some silicone got some camera equipment here got my loop we're checking out my plants as we come in here as we enter the office Got this cool picture, customer made for me, Slug33. This guy's a real great, good artist. His, his name's uh, Instagram, you can check him out. Random is the name. He does some pretty um, Van Gogh shit, man. I really, really dig his work. Then we got some, some motorcycle here. Drawing, Johnny Mac draw this, drew this picture of this bike for me. My bike, actually. He's a really great artist. Johnny Mac is his name. And then we got some books. We'll go back over there. But let's check out the rest of the desk. Got a picture of some loved ones here. And this is my little dabbing station. This is where I got my dab torch and got my Boreas bong. This is a vintage Kirby vacuum cleaner ashtray from the 60s which is cool i'm into antiques i love antiques this is where we keep the rosin out of the sunlight room temp and let's see what else we got we'll get this out of here we don't want to see this right now got the computer right now we're listening to ethan russo check him out doctor very good. Cannabis. And then we've got my master's kit sitting here, just hanging out. I'm goofing around with this. Usually these go back. Usually it just sits this way. There we go. 
Got my master's kit just chilling, waiting to get to work. Yeah, we got a little inventory down there. Got everything I need to do my my uh, my work, cleaning my slugs and my butane. Yeah, I got my pistol there. Got a nice bottle of gin. Don't even drink. Once in a year, once a year, I might have a, a drink with someone. And then let's see, let's go over here. We got some knickknacks. Got a little comb for my mustache. Dynavap kit. Wife and I just had our anniversary. Got a card there. Gotta have love Bob Ross. Looking into these blazer torches. We're gonna be checking these out. Got the Lemax here, the big slug 33. Five ouncer. And we got a half ounce unit here. And we got some extra slug 33s. We got this vice here, which is really cool. This is the Wilton 11. What is it? 11674? 11674. That's a great, this is a great vice if you want to run just the original slug 33 or the deuce. It's a great little vice. 60, 70 bucks, I believe, right around there. And then we got some more inventory. These are just some extra slugs of mine I've had. A, <coughs> I've had. So these are just all my personal. Some of them are just. You know, we got some real old ones here. Some of the first ones that came out. You know, where I was doing a lot of the work on them. And uh, this is the first Fat Mac, I believe, prototype Fat Mac right here. Pretty cool. First one ever made. Got an old trophy, one of my bikes won one of these a few years back. And got another hat rack up here. So I keep my hat right there. Pow. Found that skull on the side of the road. I also keep my rings on there too. And then we got some prototype Boreas bongs. I've had over the years. I got some miscellaneous junk, feather. There's some old buds from previous years. I just been letting sit here. How'd you like to smoke that dusty shit? And we got some rattlesnake rattles and some skin. We get a lot of rattlesnakes around here. Got some old vintage locks and, and things. This stuff I like to collect. Actually, I have more stuff in this office. Um, usually have an old Kirby vacuum cleaner there from the 60s and some other stuff, but we got that stuff packed away. I got a lot of stuff packed away ready to leave at a moment's notice because it's fire season, so the office actually has a little more stuff in it. And then here's the view from the office out the window, out my back window. This is the west. So this is where the sun sets and there, you keep an eye on the ladies from right here. And that's a quick little tour of the all. Here's a coyote skull that I found in my back, on my back property. Pretty cool. It's like somebody shot it. Right here is a bullet hole, and then right here is another bullet hole. So it looks like it got, got probably was stealing someone's chickens or something, but the teeth on it are huge. Pretty neat. And that's pretty much it. Just a quick view. Now let's do a dab. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.